Hello everyone! I have a really fun art project to share with you. I'm going to be showing you a couple of ways that you can make a really cool mini nature house or nature fort. And we're going to be using some really simple materials that you can find around your house or even in your backyard. So the first thing you'll need is a sturdy piece of cardboard. Mine is 10 inches by 10 inches, but you can use any size that you have available at home. You'll also need some air dry clay or Play-Doh. And if you don't have this at home, you can make your own air dry clay like I did. And I just followed a really simple recipe. I combined 1 4th cup of flour, 1 4th cup of cornstarch, and 1 4th cup of salt. So you'll mix those three ingredients together. And then you'll slowly add a 4th cup of water. So you want to add a little bit of water at a time until you get the consistency that you like. You'll also need a small rubber band and a piece of string or yarn and you'll need some sticks. So I have some sticks I collected in my yard. They are 8 to 10 inches long. You can use whatever size you have. And then you'll need some other natural materials like tree bark. These are things I found in my yard. A pine cone. You might have some shells that you collected at the beach. I found some spiky gumballs. You could also collect rocks. And if you have acorns, you can use acorn tops. And you might want some kind of greenery like this, or some leaves, or grass, or whatever you have in your yard. Okay? So I'm going to start by showing you how to make the basic structure of your nature house or nature fort. And then you get to have fun deciding how you're going to decorate it. So I'm going to scoop this out of the way. And this is just my example of what your nature fort could look like. Now does yours have to look like mine? No. I always say we're all different so our art will look different too. So remember this is just one example but you guys are so creative. I know you have lots of great ideas. So I'll scoop this out of the way and I'm going to grab my cardboard. This is the base of your nature house or nature fort. Scoot some of this. And so we're going to start with our clay or play-doh and remember if you're making your own homemade dough it's always fun to let your kids help. They enjoy dumping it in the bowl and mixing it together and kneading it with their hands. And remember that that's just a really great experience in itself for young children to be able to squeeze the dough and pinch it and push it. They are building their finger strength and also just learning all the different ways that the clay or Play-Doh changes as they interact with it. So I'm gonna take my ball of homemade air dry clay and I'm going to plop it right in the middle of my square base and I'm going to use my fingers to push it and spread it around and mine is kind of staying in a circular shape if yours isn't a circle that's okay we're just going to keep pushing all around you can see I've got a really cool texture from all of my fingers making dents in the clay and I'm going to probably stop about there. So that's about as much as you need to spread it out. So I still have a little bit of cardboard left which is fine. You just want to make sure you don't press it so thin that there won't be enough clay to stick the nature materials into it. Alright and then to start our fort I'm going to take four sticks and I'm going to attach them at the top with my rubber band. I'm going to go maybe about two or three inches down and I'm going to wrap it around just a couple times. You want to secure your sticks so that they stick together but you don't want it too tight because we're going to be spreading the sticks apart at the bottom. So I'm going to take two of my sticks and I'm going to spread them apart and push them into the clay at the front of my house and then I'm going to take the other two and spread them apart and push them in the clay at the back of my house. So you might think of it as pushing the sticks into the four corners of a square. So that's the start of your structure. 
then I'm going to take some more sticks and push them into the clay and kind of just balance them on the sticks that are already there. And I'm going to fill in some of these spaces as I go around. You can put as many sticks as you think you need. I'm going to put one here. And I'm just balancing them at the top of my structure. I think I'll do maybe one more on this side. And if you need to push the clay at the bottom just to hold the sticks in place, you can do that. All right, so now I want to make sure my new sticks stay up. So I'm going to attach them with my string to the first four that we put in. I'm going to leave a little bit of my yarn loose because I'm going to be tying a knot. And I'm going to take the rest of my yarn and I'm just going to carefully wrap it around. This doesn't have to be super tight. You just want to make sure that all of the sticks are secure. You can also cover up the rubber band if you don't want that to show, but if it's showing, it's okay. You can always go back later and you could cut the rubber band because once you have the yarn, you won't need it anymore. And now I'm going to tie a knot so that my yarn stays in place. And then you can trim the extra if you need to. So I'm going to turn this around so that you can see the front. And something to keep in mind is that I left a little opening right here because I want to be able to go inside the fort or house to play in there, okay? So now you've got your basic structure and you can decide how are you going to decorate it? What needs to go inside of your nature house? So maybe Maybe I want somewhere for someone to sit and maybe I'll use my piece of tree bark and I can push it in here and I'm just going to push it down into the clay. Maybe I want a rock for a chair. I can squeeze that in right here. Maybe my acorn cap can be a little bowl for someone to eat a snack out of. Maybe I would like a pine cone to decorate the front of it anything that you want to add you can you could add a rock maybe you want a seashell in your nature house I could stick that in there now, I'm kind of doing this backwards so you can see but if you were working on it you would turn it around so you can see what's inside your nature house all right so I've got some things inside but maybe I want to make it a little more secretive so I could take some greenery and I could stick that in the clay and kind of wrap that through the top. Because if it's a fort, a lot of times you want it to be a secret. Also, while I'm speaking of um, making your fort or your home a little more secretive, remember I'm doing this on cardboard and using clay. And you'll do this if you want to display your nature house or nature fort inside. But another really fun thing to do is to do this just right in your yard. If you find a secret spot under a bush or by a tree trunk, you can stick the sticks directly in the ground and make a little secret nature house in your yard also. And that's really fun to do. So I've got some of my greenery kind of starting to fill in. In my yard right now, we have some honeysuckle growing. So you could take a honeysuckle vine you could always put that in and kind of wrap it around any way that you wanted. You could add some more leaves or pine needles. There's just so many different ways that you can decorate your nature houses. And remember, anything you want to do is okay. There's no wrong or right way to make these. Use your imagination and all of the cool materials you can find in your yard. Now you might be thinking, who's going to live in that nature house or hide out in that nature fort? So I'm going to show you a couple of easy ways to make some people who can live or play in your fort. So I have collected some materials around my house that you might have in your home too. I have some empty spools and some corks. And then also you could use things like wooden beads. So I have made some people for my fort. For this one, I've taken a wooden spool and glued a rock on top for a head. And you could even paint the rock if you wanted to have a face. So I have one person. 
Also, I have taken a cork and hot glued a pom-pom to it. So you could have another person like that. These could be people in your family, or they could just be people that you made up from your imagination. You could take a spool and add a spiky gumball. Kind of looks like someone with some crazy hair. And then my favorite, I took a cork and a wooden um, bead, and then I added an acorn cap on top for a hat. So that's another way you could make a person. So there's lots of fun ways that you can make people to play in your nature house or in your nature fort. All right, I'm gonna scoot these out of the way for a moment because I know in some families, you might have younger children who don't have the fine motor skills to be able to build with the sticks like we did in our first example. So I'm gonna show you another way that you can adapt this to younger children. So I've started again with a square. It's 10 inches by 10 inches, just like my first one. This one though, I cut out of a cereal box because the cardboard's a little bit thinner, easier to fold and cut. And then what I did with my square, I folded it in half this way. And then I folded it in half the other direction. And then I took my scissors and on one of the folds, I cut from the bottom all the way up to the middle. And now you have these two flaps. And what you can do is take these and overlap them and ta-da! you have the base of a room or a house. So you just need to tape or glue these two pieces and then you have a base structure for younger kids to build on. So they could do the same thing. They could press clay into the bottom and then add natural materials just like we did in our first example. And it might look something like this. Here's a finished example that I have. And I did a lot of the same thing, sticks and bark, pine cones, um, rocks and gumballs and leaves whatever you have at home you can add to this and you can still make it kind of secretive like we did in our first example I can take some greenery and just this time I'm going to drape it across kind of in between some of the sticks that are sticking up and you could do this with leaves or grass or pine needles and then I still have a kind of secret little fort and let's put some of our people over here too because they want to play in our fort all right, so those are some ways that you can adapt that to the age of your child. Also, if you have a child that's still at the age where they're putting things in their mouths, um, you can find lots of great information online. There are edible gluten-free dough recipes. There are um, articles that will give you examples of flowers and plants that are edible and safe for young children. So there's lots of ways that you can make this fit your family. But we always want to remind you that the most important part is that your children enjoy the process and they have a good time creating, they have lots of fun, and they enjoy uh, learning how to manipulate the materials. And with the natural materials, there's so many great textures that they can explore. So hopefully your, your family will have lots of fun with this project. And thank you for joining me. All right, have fun making your nature houses and nature forts. Goodbye.